types of the pituitary adenomas. So the whenever there are the adenomas or the tumors, their respective diagnosis or the most appropriate diagnosis is necessary for the uh, proper treatment and for the proper management. So uh, we have to study the types of the pituitary adenomas in detail so that we can uh, specifically diagnose the specific type of the adenoma for the target uh, treatment and for the more focused treatment. So this is the section four, uh, which is of uh, the types of the pituitary adenomas, including the uh, somatotroph adenoma, the mammoth uh, somatotroph, and the acidophil stem cell adenomas, uh, the corticotrop and the thyrotrop adenomas will be discussed uh, in this lecture. The somatotroph adenomas, basically the somatotrophs are the cells which release the growth hormone. So the excess of the growth hormone secretion can either cause the gigantism or the acromegaly. Uh, which is already uh, discussed uh, in the prior sections of this uh, lecture. Uh, the growth hormone excess can uh, cause the gigantism or the acromegaly. Uh, it is dysprotic uh, and some rise as the part of the men one uh, syndrome or the Kearney syndrome. These all are basically the uh, pheochromocytoma and these all are the other causes of the somatotroph uh, adenomas. Uh, there, there can be the macro adenomas. Uh, the macro adenomas are of uh, larger size of more than 10 millimeter. The basic pathology is that the 75% patients they suffer from the somatotrop macro adenoma. So the somatotrop macro adenoma is most important. The clinical or the morphological thing is that they are, uh, when you see under the microscope, they are densely granulated. Uh, acidophilic cells are there. The granular cytoplasm, you can see, uh, you can uh, appreciate in this picture also that the cytoplasm is basically the granular, uh, granular and the, there is a diffuse growth pattern. They are merged, the cells are merged strong diffuse and there is a reactivity for the growth hormone and there is the low proliferative indices are seen. <clears throat> this is basically the densely uh, granulated, then there is sparsely granulated. A small chromophobe cells are present. There can be a fibrous bodies, keratin, intermediate filaments can also be seen and the cellular and the nuclear pleomorphism is also seen. This cellular and the nuclear pleomorphism has great importance in the uh, diagnosis and uh, in appreciating or in differentiating it from the other uh, cells that the different types of the cells are seen which can be uh, specific to the macroadenoma. The mammosomatotroph are basically the monomorphous and there is single cell type expressing the growth hormone and the prolactin. So this is a set of a disease in which there is basically the growth hormone as well as the prolactin. Both these hormones, they are increased uh, and and they, it is also the acidophil stem cell adenomas. They are basically the monophore, uh, monomorphous. And they present with the, there is the uniformity in uh, their structure and uh, there is a slightly acidophilic, acidophilic tumors while there can be a nuclear uh, pleomorphism as well as the large cytoplasmic vacuoles. As you can see over there, there, is a, there are the large cytoplasmic vacuoles are present. You can appreciate over there. <clears throat> So the clinical features are the uh, acromegaly. Acromegaly always develop gradually. Prochanthism, enlarged hand and feet, uh, cardiovascular problem. These all are basically the features of the acromegaly. Respiratory death, the respiratory distress syndrome in the uh, in the child's or uh, basically these are the main things. They can also present with the headache as well as the paresthesias, uh, muscle weakness, hypertension, increased left ventricular mass, uh, which ultimately results to the different cardiomyopathies and the uh, hypertrophy of the heart. And then there is the visceral hypertrophy and the diabetes. Uh, hypercalciuria and the renal stones can also be there. If there is a long-standing diabetes, it can further lead to the uh, chronic kidney disease. Treatment is always the, uh, mostly the treatment is the surgical or the radiation therapy or the chemotherapy. Depending upon the stage of the 
tumor depending upon the nature depending upon the size so uh, the size shape nature metastasis and the other comorbids these things are necessary for the determination of the specific mode of treatment uh, so the treatment can be transvenoidal uh, hypophysectomy can be done uh, the radiation therapy can be done and the long acting analog of this metastatin they can also be given to treat the patient conservatively the corticotrop adenomas in the corticotrop adenomas these cell the corticotrop secretes the ACTH the excess of the ACTH leads to the Cushing disease while the uh, deficiency of the ACTH leads to the Addison disease the Cushing disease and the patient of the uh, Cushing disease presents with the central obesity there are certain uh, marks on the abdomen the, the face of the uh, patient of the Cushing is uh, typically like the moon moon face or the moon facies are there and there is the intra, uh, intracellular microadenomas uh, the corticotrop adenomas are basically the intracellular microadenomas uh, with basophilic and the periodic acid this past test is positive in the corticotrop adenomas and there are few uh, chromophobic and they are more basically the aggressive <clears throat> the gnadotrop adenomas the gnadotrop release releases the uh, LH and FSH which are uh, involved these hormones are basically involved in the uh, female menstrual cycle as well as the pregnancy as I have already told you uh, mainly the hormone uh, hormonally inactive macroadenoma this is hormonally inactive uh, macroadenoma uh, chrom uh, chromophobic uh, chromophobic along with the past negative uh, grow in diffuse pattern while the clinical presentation is starting from the uh, headache a visual disturbance and the hypopituitarism the tumor cell strongly is basically the uh, immuno positive for the uh, FSH LH or both the treatment is surgical resection these all are basically uh, respective to the certain cell type the adenomas this classification according to the cell type the gonadotrophs are the growth hormone uh, gonadotrophs are the uh, LH and FSH secreting cells which result into the gonadotroph adenomas. Then the thyrotroph adenoma, the thyrotrophs are basically uh, for the uh, TSH. They are related to the TSH. So whenever the, there is the increase in the TSH, the patient presents with the uh, symptoms of the hypothyroidism. So uh, to perform the uh, laboratory test, you order the thyroid profile. In the thyroid profile, the TSH is basically uh, increased and the T3, T4, they are uh, suppressed and the patient is suffering from the most likely the patient is suffering from the hypothyroidism then the and the features of the hypothyroidism are that there can be a weight gain or soft of the voice can be there uh, cold intolerances they can also be there so the thyroid drop adenoma creates the uh, TSH uh, and it is a high proliferative indices the long-standing hypothyroidism further leads to initially the hypothyroidism can further lead to the hyperplasia of the gland and then, then the symptoms can be include the hypothyroidism goiter or the pituitary mass lanes non-functional pituitary adenomas in the non-functional uh, pituitary adenomas there can be null cell adenomas or the oncocytomas the null cell aden uh, adenomas you can see they it, it is the chromophobic and arise in the adenohypophysis so what is adenohypophysis the adenohypophysis is the 80 percent part of the end uh, of the pituitary gland the 80 percent part of the pituitary gland the anterior pituitary is known as the adenohypophysis and it constitutes about the 80 percent while the posterior is the neurohypophysis and it constitutes the 20 percent so the, the, it is also uh, past negative it is the pseudopapillary pattern is seen uh, in the null cell adenomas the negative or dispersely positive for all the anterior pituitary hormones immunopositive for the chroma, uh, chromographin a and the sinusinato uh, fissin there is the enlarged eosinophil granular cells are seen in the oncocytomas while uh, large at the presentation and they extend outside the cell they are basically uh, growing uh, the, the outgrowth the uh, outgrowth from the uh, cella 
the sigma and the visual the impairment is seen. Other adenomas and the pituitary carcinomas, uh, they can be a silent adenoma, the pleural uh, hormonal adenoma, silent adenomas basically uh, differ from the non-functional pituitary adenoma because basically they are silent and they are well differentiated. They can be easily diagnosed and they are immunoreactive for the ACTH and the other hormones. Uh, the pleural hormone include the growth hormone and the uh, prolactin synthesis. The production of one or more glycoprotein hormone subunit can be seen in the uh, plurihormonal adenomas and basically it is aggressive and the subtype is the 3. And the unique ultra <clears throat> structure profile can be uh, seen and can be done for the better diagnosis uh, and there is the increase in the uh, prolactin as well as the TSH. The pituitary carcinoma this it spreads to the cerebrospinal and uh, or the extracranial sites it secretes the uh, prolactin or the ACTH then it becomes the functional and it extends beyond the cella testica. Thank you for watching scardio.com.